There's a word coming in from the French president who says, and I'm quoting, that he's counting on the Chinese president Xi Jinping to bring Russia to its senses. President Xi Jinping on Thursday hailed uh, China's close tie with France as the world undergoes profound historical changes. This word coming in from the French president and what exactly does it signify? Abhishek Jha will tell us more about it. Abhishek, uh, ahead of this very crucial meeting, what does this statement signify? All right, we'll try and connect with Abhishek and get more details on this uh, very important story. The Russia-Ukraine war, of course, has been something that has been dominating the global platform in various global stages. Uh, the president, uh, the meeting of uh, President uh, Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping was a development, a geopolitical development that was very, very closely watched upon. China trying to assert its place on the global platform as some kind of a leader, trying to hint that change that U.S. no more enjoys an unchallenged authority or power when it comes to disputes of this nature but can china play a decisive role and can it have some kind of sway with the western powers as well abhishek jha will tell us more about it abhishek uh, with this meeting the statement coming in from the french president what does it signify uh, it does signify uh, a greater role for china and an acknowledgement of the fact that china uh, has arrived on the world stage uh, not only uh, economically or uh, militarily but also it has uh, got some help uh, where it can convince Russia uh, or Ukraine to come back to the negotiating table and uh, end this war. This is what French President uh, Macron has also uh, conveyed uh, before he uh, started for his uh, China's, uh, Chinese visit. Uh, but uh, And having said that, China has already offered uh, Ukraine uh, and Russia a peace deal. Uh, I mean, uh, through those 12-point peace deal, which is very much in talk. Uh, we have seen President Xi Jinping uh, traveling to Moscow, uh, then there are apparently uh, reports of Ukrainian President uh, uh, Zelensky also uh, inviting uh, Chinese President uh, to to Ukraine uh, for a meeting for a meeting or for a visit. So clearly, China is taking its entire stage, uh, and Europe, which is probably getting exhausted with the uh, with the implication of the war, with the economic uh, you know uh, crisis that is uh, coming out of the war because of multiple reasons, uh, is trying to get. Uh, some sort of, uh, you know, solution for this war, uh, and probably uh, uh, the European Union, France, and other uh, other major uh, parties in Europe are looking up to China that China can maybe and uh, these hmm. two parties can come back to the Abhishek, uh, Chinese having some kind of sway with the Russians or any other you know, uh, countries is perhaps still understandable. But uh, the ambition of the Chinese is very well known that they want to uh, dominate the global stage. The chi uh, China wants to present itself as, as the global leader trying to displace US. Why would a country like France, which is so entrenched in the Western bloc part of NATO, would issue a statement like this? And how is US? likely to perceive the statement uh, so see i mean uh, we have to give it to china uh, that in the last uh, few months it has uh, increasingly uh, ex exhibited its uh, diplomatic uh, head and diplomatic uh, maneuvering uh, we have just seen that deal uh, PPC that it has brokered between uh, uh, iran and saudi arabia in fact uh, both the foreign minister from iran and saudi arabia they are in beijing right now uh, and they had the first official meeting in presence of King, uh, King Gang, who is the uh, foreign minister of China. And uh, this is uh, being seen as a, as a attempt by China to increase its uh, uh, diplomatic, uh, uh, you know, skill, uh, diplomatic military skill uh, to broker a peace deal between the two warring sides. Uh, and now when uh, French President uh, and, uh, Emmanuel Macron, he has been uh, very vocal about this war. In fact, he was the first person who was regularly in touch with Vladimir Putin and the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky hmm. before the war could erupt and even in the initial days also he uh, he was very uh, you know keen to having some solution to the war uh, so now it looks like uh, when the europe is failing to achieve some sort of uh, you know consensus how to end this war and there is a uh, you know amount of supplies of, of, of war material ammunition and financial uh, implication of this war is also going to be for very long term uh, in china can come out with some solution this is the expectation of uh, europe uh, or french uh, our president is trying to explore that opportunity at least. Abhishek, uh, as I asked you earlier and, and you elaborated how China impressively has been able to resolve certain geopolitical disputes trying to assert its space on the global platform. The US is keenly watching and perhaps uh, 
watching with a keen eye and looking at the developments, uh, worrying about the rising stature of the Chinese on the global platform. Uh, so see, uh, I mean, uh, when this uh, peace deal between Iran and Saudi came into light, the USA had uh, welcomed this deal. Uh, and in fact, uh, when Chinese President Xi Jinping uh, also proposed this 12-point uh, peace formula for Russia-Ukraine conflict, uh, that was also sort of welcomed only by USA and the European Union, the European side. But uh, it's, a ma it's a different matter that the deal could not be uh, pursued further because of the differences that Ukraine and Russia have uh, and the kind of suspicion uh, that the European bloc has with uh, China being a close ally of Russia and the deal, uh, for that matter, deal would probably be tilted uh, in favor of Russia. So this has been the uh, perception. Uh, but now, uh, having uh, been in this war for almost uh, I mean, more than one year, and no sight in, in no uh, solution coming to sight for a very near future. Uh, it is uh, being looked at that uh, now USA, uh, Europe, every uh, NATO, right, they are looking for a solution uh, for this long statement that has been going on. And uh, USA, despite the fact that it has been a, a huge uh, supporter, uh, both financially, militarily, and diplomatically to Ukraine and European Union, in fact, the, all the presence of military uh, and mm. um, uh, ammunition supply by USA has been increasing regularly and we are seeing new crash. Abhishek Jha getting us all the details and as he pointed out that the war that has lasted for more than one year has made everybody including the Western powers so desperate that they want a solution. And even if a solution comes from the Chinese, they're open to it. That's what the president uh, statement, the French president statement really signifies.